Imagine a time when the world was ruled by kings and queens, and magic was a part of everyday life. In this world, there lived a wise wizard named Merlin, who guided a young, ambitious King Arthur. Merlin's wisdom was invaluable to Arthur, who led his kingdom to prosperity and peace, and the king was always quick to express his gratitude for Merlin's guidance. Now you might be wondering, how does this tale of gratitude from a time long past connect to our lives today, particularly our careers? Well, gratitude, dear listeners, is not just a fleeting emotion or a polite gesture. It is a powerful force that can transform our lives in remarkable ways. Just as Arthur's gratitude towards Merlin led to prosperity in his kingdom, the same principle applies in our modern professional lives. When we express gratitude, we make a conscious effort to acknowledge the positive aspects of our lives. We recognize the efforts and contributions of those around us. This simple act of recognition can foster stronger relationships, breed positivity, and create a harmonious work environment. Imagine a workplace where everyone acknowledges each other's efforts, where the team members are not competing, but complementing one another. This is the environment that gratitude fosters. It brings about a sense of unity, a feeling of being valued and appreciated. And guess what? This doesn't just lead to a happier work environment, it also leads to improved performance. Yes, you heard it right. When we feel valued and appreciated, we are more motivated to excel, to put in our best efforts. Gratitude, in essence, is a catalyst for excellence, much like how Merlin's wisdom served as a catalyst for Arthur's successful reign. Now remember, gratitude is not a one-time act. It's a lifestyle, a mindset, that we need to cultivate and nurture daily. It's like a seed. Once sowed with consistent care and attention, it grows into a tree providing shade and fruits to all around it. Just as King Arthur acknowledged Merlin's contributions, recognizing the efforts of those around us in our professional life can lead to remarkable outcomes. Let's travel back to the medieval era where King Arthur's court is bustling with activity. Imagine the scene, a court filled with knights strategists and scholars, each playing their part in running a prosperous kingdom. Among them, King Arthur himself, a leader known for his wisdom and generosity. What set him apart, however, was his practice of gratitude. In the midst of the court's activity, Arthur often paused to acknowledge the efforts of his team. He thanked his knights for their bravery his strategists for their foresight, and his scholars for their wisdom. This wasn't a mere formality. Arthur truly appreciated the value each individual brought to his court. He realized that his kingdom's success was not his alone, but a collective achievement. You see, gratitude wasn't just a personal practice for Arthur, but a fundamental part of his leadership style. He fostered a culture of appreciation where each member of the court felt seen, valued, and motivated to do their best. His gratitude wasn't just expressed in words. Arthur showed his appreciation by listening to his court members' ideas, respecting their expertise, and supporting their growth. Now, let's look at the impact of this gratitude on the court. The knights strategists and scholars didn't just feel appreciated, they felt empowered. They knew their contributions mattered, leading to a sense of purpose and a drive to excel. The court was not just a group of individuals, but a cohesive team working together towards a common goal. This environment of positivity and productivity 
was directly linked to Arthur's practice of gratitude. Arthur's court serves as a powerful example of how gratitude can transform a work environment. It shows us that gratitude is more than just a personal virtue. It's a tool for building strong, successful teams. And the best part, it's a tool that's available to all of us, regardless of our role or rank. As seen in King Arthur's court, a culture of gratitude can transform a workplace. It's a lesson that's as relevant today as it was in the days of King Arthur. So let's take a leaf out of Arthur's book and make gratitude a cornerstone of our own professional lives. Now, let's step away from the world of magic and into the world of science. In the realm of science, the benefits of gratitude in professional life are becoming increasingly clear. Modern research findings reveal that gratitude is not merely an emotion, it's a tool that can significantly enhance our professional lives. Think of a scenario from the medieval era. A blacksmith, for example, who expresses gratitude for his craft, his tools, and the customers who support his work. This blacksmith finds joy in the rhythm of his hammer and the glow of the hot metal, and he appreciates every customer who walks through his door. In return, his customers sense this gratitude and are more likely to continue their patronage, ultimately leading to the blacksmith's success. In the same vein, studies show that gratitude in the workplace can lead to increased productivity, reduced staff turnover, and improved morale. It's like a chain reaction. When you're grateful for your job, you're more likely to put effort into it. When you put effort into your work, you're more likely to succeed. And when you succeed, you have even more to be grateful for. Another fascinating aspect of science is the impact of gratitude on our brains. When we express gratitude, our brain releases dopamine and serotonin, the two crucial neurotransmitters responsible for our emotions. They make us feel good. They enhance our mood instantly, making us feel happy from the inside. In essence, gratitude creates a positive feedback loop in our brains that encourages us to work harder and find more reasons to feel grateful. It's a win-win situation. Moreover, gratitude helps us to foster better relationships. Just like our medieval blacksmith, when we show appreciation towards our colleagues and superiors, it cultivates a positive environment, making the workplace a much more pleasant place to be. As we can see, the science of gratitude is not just about feeling good, it's about real tangible benefits that can have a significant impact on our professional success. As science shows us, gratitude isn't just a nice to have, it's a must have. Now, let's see how gratitude can unlock the door to career success. In our quest for career advancement, we often overlook the power of gratitude. Like a key that fits perfectly into a lock, gratitude can open doors to opportunities and growth in our professional lives. To illustrate this, let's draw from the story of King Arthur, a tale steeped in gratitude and its transformative power. As a young boy, Arthur was humble and grateful even when he was bestowed with the responsibility of a kingdom. He expressed gratitude to Merlin, his mentor, who guided him with wisdom. This bond of gratitude between Arthur and Merlin was not just a personal sentiment, but played a pivotal role in Arthur's rise to power. Gratitude made Arthur receptive to learning, a trait that is crucial in any career. He was willing to listen, to absorb knowledge, and to adapt. 
This openness stemmed from his gratitude towards those who were teaching him, shaping him into a wise and just king. Arthur's gratitude also fostered strong alliances. He appreciated his Knights of the Round Table, acknowledging their contributions and valuing their loyalty. This mutual respect and gratitude strengthened their bond, creating a team that was united and invincible. In our careers too, gratitude can foster a positive work environment, encouraging teamwork and collaboration. Moreover, gratitude made Arthur a compassionate leader. He was thankful for his people's trust in him, and he strived to be worthy of it. In our careers, gratitude towards those who support and believe in us can make us strive for excellence pushing us to be the best version of ourselves. King Arthur's story is a testament to the power of gratitude. It shows us that gratitude is not just an emotion, but a practice that can foster growth, build strong relationships, and drive success. So, as we navigate our professional journeys, let's remember to carry the key of gratitude with us. As King Arthur's story shows, gratitude can be a powerful tool in your career. So how can we cultivate this powerful habit of gratitude, you may wonder. Here are some simple and effective exercises that you can incorporate into your daily life. Let's start with the gratitude journal. This is perhaps the most popular gratitude exercise. Every day, Write down three things you're grateful for. They can be big or small, from the taste of your morning coffee to the sound of your loved one's laughter. The key here is consistency. Make it a daily habit, and soon you'll find yourself naturally noticing the good in every single day. Next, let's talk about the gratitude visit. Think of someone who has made a significant impact in your life, but you never had a chance to properly thank. Write them a letter expressing your gratitude. If possible, deliver it in person. This exercise is not just about feeling grateful, but about expressing it, and in doing so, spreading the positive energy. Now, consider the gratitude walk. This exercise involves taking a walk in nature or around your neighborhood and intentionally noticing the things around you that you can be grateful for. The warmth of the sun on your skin, the rustle of leaves under your feet, the smile of a passing stranger. It's about being present and appreciating the world around you. Lastly, there's the gratitude jar. Get a jar and each day, Write down something you're grateful for on a piece of paper and put it in the jar. Over time, you'll have a physical representation of all the good things in your life. Whenever you're feeling down, you can reach into the jar and remind yourself of all the things you have to be thankful for. These exercises are simple yet powerful. They don't require any special equipment or skills, just a willingness to pay attention to the good things in life. Just as Merlin taught King Arthur, we too can learn to cultivate gratitude in our lives. Embarking on a journey of gratitude can transform your career. Just imagine yourself in the shoes of King Arthur, a great leader, a true visionary, and a man who knew the value of gratitude. His journey though set in the distant past, holds valuable lessons for us today. Think of the time when King Arthur first received his legendary sword, Excalibur. He didn't just take it for granted. He expressed his gratitude towards the Lady of the Lake, the mystical figure who bestowed upon him this powerful symbol. This act of gratitude set him apart marking the beginning of his transformation from a boy to a king. Gratitude is not a destination, 
it's a journey. It's about recognizing the good in every situation, the lessons in every failure, and the opportunities in every challenge. Just like King Arthur, who, despite the numerous battles and hardships, always took a moment to be thankful for his loyal knights, his trusted advisor, Melon, and the strength within him. This journey of gratitude doesn't mean you'll never face difficulties or obstacles in your career. On the contrary, it's about acknowledging these challenges and using them as stepping stones towards your goals. It's about seeing the silver lining in every cloud, just as King Arthur did. He faced numerous adversaries and complex dilemmas, yet his gratitude for his experiences and his kingdom never waned. Starting your gratitude journey is as simple as acknowledging the good in your life. From the smallest achievements to the biggest milestones, every moment matters. Remember that time when you nailed that presentation or when you successfully completed a challenging project. That's the stuff gratitude is made of. So how about starting your gratitude journey today? Think about the things you're grateful for in your career. Is it the skills you've acquired, the mentor who guided you, or the challenges that made you stronger? Whatever it is, take a moment to appreciate it. And as you do, you'll find yourself growing, not just as a professional, but as a person as well. As we've seen in King Arthur's story, gratitude can truly be a game changer. The lessons we've learned today are inspired by the book, You Are the Key, Seven Powerful Ways to Unlock the Life You Desire. This book, penned by M. Joga, P.D., a career transition coach and author, is a treasure trove of practical wisdom and empowering insights. It serves as a guiding star for those who are seeking to transform their lives and careers. It teaches us that the key to unlocking a life of fulfillment and success lies not outside of us, but within us. You Are The Key is replete with seven powerful strategies that can help us unlock our full potential. These strategies are not just theoretical concepts, but practical tools that can be applied in our day-to-day -day lives. They are designed to help us tap into our inner power, overcome obstacles, and create the life we desire. The book emphasizes the power of gratitude, a theme that we've been exploring throughout this video. It encourages us to cultivate an attitude of gratitude, not just as a practice, but as a lifestyle. It teaches us that gratitude is not just about saying thank you, but about recognizing and appreciating the abundance that is already present in our lives. You Are The Key is not just a book, it's a journey of self-discovery. It invites us to embark on a journey within, to explore our inner landscapes and to discover the keys to our own success. It reminds us that we are the architects of our own lives and that we have the power to design and build the life we desire. Each page of the book is imbued with a sense of hope and possibility. It assures us that no matter where we are in our lives or careers, it's never too late to turn the key and unlock our full potential. It urges us to believe in our own power, to take action and to make our dreams a reality. Remember, just like King Arthur, you hold the key to your own success. Now that we've explored the power of gratitude, it's your turn to put it into practice. Imagine the possibilities if you were to begin each day with a sense of gratitude. Picture how your professional life could transform if you were to embrace thankfulness, not just as a fleeting thought, but as a core part of your career strategy. 
it's time to take action, to turn the insights and ideas that we've discussed into tangible benefits, to harness the power of gratitude and use it to fuel your career growth. Remember, gratitude isn't just about being thankful for the big things. It's about appreciating the small victories, the everyday moments, the challenges that push you to grow. It's about recognizing the value in every experience and understanding how each one contributes to your career journey. It's time to shift your perspective, to see your career not just as a series of jobs or roles, but as a journey of growth and discovery, a journey that's enriched by gratitude. To help you on this journey, I encourage you to explore You Are The Key, seven powerful ways to unlock the life you desire. This bestseller delves deeper into the concepts we've discussed, providing practical strategies to cultivate gratitude and leverage it for career success. You can find You Are The Key on Amazon. It's your guide to unlocking the power of gratitude and transforming your professional life. But don't stop there. Continue to explore, to learn, to grow. Seek out resources, connect with mentors, join communities, find ways to nurture your gratitude and keep it alive. Remember, gratitude is a journey, not a destination. It's a practice that evolves with you, that grows as your career grows. So, take that step. Make gratitude a part of your career strategy. Embrace it, cultivate it, live it. Start your journey of gratitude today and watch your career flourish like never before. Before we part ways, let's revisit the lessons we've learned today. We began by exploring the power of gratitude, how it can transform our lives and careers in ways we never imagined. We saw that gratitude is not just a feeling, but an action, a practice that we can cultivate daily to reap its benefits. We then delved into the science of gratitude, where we discovered that this practice isn't merely a feel-good exercise, but is rooted in solid scientific findings. It's been proven to boost our happiness, health, and even our careers. We discussed how gratitude and career success are interwoven when we appreciate what we have, we create a positive work environment, motivates us to strive harder and achieve more. It's about recognizing the value in every experience, every challenge, and every victory along our career path. Next, we shared some practical gratitude exercises. We learned that gratitude can be expressed in many ways, through a journal, a letter, a simple thought, or a heartfelt conversation. These exercises are not one size fits all, but are meant to be personalized and made a part of our daily routine. We then embarked on a gratitude journey, a personal exploration of what we're thankful for in our lives and careers. This journey is unique for everyone, and it's a continuous process of self-discovery and growth. We also took inspiration from the bestseller, You Are the Key. This book beautifully encapsulates the essence of gratitude and how it can unlock a life of abundance, fulfillment, and career excellence. Finally, we concluded with a call to action, encouraging you to take the first step on your gratitude journey. Whether it's getting the book or booking a complimentary career breakthrough call, the most important thing is to start. Remember, just like in the tales of King Arthur and Merlin, gratitude can unlock a world of possibilities. Thank you for joining us on this journey of discovery.